Hi, I'm Steve Richardson. So you wake up in the morning, you get showered and dressed, and you go out to go to work, and your car's not in the driveway. It's been repossessed. What do you do? Well, what I tell people here in New Jersey, and I get a lot of calls about this sort of thing, I tell them, first thing to do is to call the bank. Find out if you can get the car back by bringing the account current, paying all the past uh, due payments, along with any costs of repossession, things like that, that the bank incurred in taking the car. They may be amenable to do that. They're not obligated to, but usually they would rather have the money than the car, and if you can get the loan back on track, then uh, that may be the best way to go. Uh, they, don't have, so they don't have to do that. And if your car has been repossessed before and they got it back to you after you brought it current, they may be a little uh, leery and less likely to trust you a second time to do that. So you may encounter more difficulty in negotiating that uh, if the vehicle has been repossessed before uh, or maybe if you have other repossessions on your credit. But that's the first thing to do. Call the bank, find out if they are willing to work with you to bring it current, pay the cost of repossession to get the car back. Now, uh, a Chapter 13 bankruptcy might also help you with that. It can depend upon the circumstances and you would have to file it fairly quickly uh, to try and get the car back and use the Chapter 13 bankruptcy to bring the payments current. Now, all of this assumes that you really are in default under the note. All right? Are you really behind on the payments? That's number one. Number two, what does the loan note say? Well, it's a contract. It, it defines default. Look at it and see. What does it say? How far behind do you have to be before they will repossess, before they will hold you in default and take advantage of certain default remedies like repossession. If there is an issue of whether or not they received a payment, you're saying, wait a minute, I'm not in default because I made all the payments, I am current. Or there's an issue as to whether legally you are in default, maybe default is 60 days late and you've, you've only missed one payment. So you, this all presupposes that you truly are in default and that the bank has the right to have the car repossessed in the first place. So, if you live here in southern New Jersey, your car has been repossessed, and you're looking for solutions on what to do, please feel free to give my office a call. I'll be happy to sit down with you, go over your situation, and find out what your options are to get that car back so you can get to work.